Good evening, this is Susan, and this is Susan's Ramblings. I know I've neglected our Bible readings for the past month. I'm sorry. Anyway, during the month of December, I read the book of Luke. It has 24 chapters, so I start at the beginning, and I go until Christmas Eve with it. And then, of course, we have Christmas Day. Anyway, I'm behind, even with December. So for the next few days, I will be reading two chapters in Luke until we catch up to the day I'm on. Right now, December 7th, Pearl Alba Day. And I don't know, I hope to catch up within three, four days, okay? And then we'll go just with the chapter that we have for that day. Chapter 1, Luke. Inasmuch as many of you have taken in hand, in order to set a narrative, these things which have been fulfilled among us, just as those from the beginning who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and minister of the word delivered them to us, it seemed good to me also, having had you in had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you in orderly account, most excellent Theophilus, that you may have the certainty of these things in which you are instructed. So there in the days of Herod the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zechariah was of the division of Abjo. His wife was the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, talking in all their commandments and ordinances of the law, of the Lord blameless. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and they were well advanced in age and years. So it's sad while he, that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot felt to, fell to incense when he, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And a whole multitude of people were praying outside at the hour of incense. Then the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. You will have great joy and gladness, and many will rejoice in his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he would turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will also go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and this, the disobedience to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zechariah said to the son, Angel, how will I know this? For I am an old man and my wife is well advanced in years. And the angel answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of the Lord, who was sent to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not be able to speak until the day these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. And the people waited for Zacharias, a marvel that he lingered so long in the temple. But when he came out, he could not speak to them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned to them and remained speechless. So it was as soon as the day of his service was completed that he departed to his own home. Now after all these days, his wife conceived, and she hid herself for five months, saying, The Lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked upon me to take my reproach among people. Now in the sixth month, the angel of Gabriel was sent to the city of 
in Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there is no end. Then Mary said the, to the angel, How can this be, since I, have not, I do not know a man? And the angel answered her and said, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also the Holy One who is to be born, he will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for who was, who was called barren. For God, nothing is impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the maid servant of the Lord. Let me be to me according to the word. And it turned into departed from him. Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill city with haste to the city of Judea and entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the babe leaped with the womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. But why is this granted to me, the mother of my Lord shall come to me? For indeed, the sound, as soon as the sound of your voice of your greeting sounded in my ear, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed for she, blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which you told from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Blessed indeed is the Lord of Israel, Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people, and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, who have been since the world began, that we may be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant, the oath with his swore to our father Abraham, to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our lives. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest, for you will be go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to grant no give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remission of his sins through the tender mercy of our God, which during the day spring from on high has visited, to give light to those who sit in darkness in the shadow of death, to guide our feet in the way of peace. And so the child grew and began strong in spirit, was in, uh, was in the deserts the day, till the day of his manifestation to Israel. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place when Queen was serving, uh, governing Syria, Syria, Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with son. So it was that while they were there, that the day for him 
for her. The day was completed for her to be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Now in the same country, shepherds living in the field and keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said, Do not be afraid, before behold, because for behold, I bring you great tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be the sign to you. You shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly voices praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on, on earth peace, goodwill to men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them in heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see the thing that has come to pass, which the Savior Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and a babe in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely, they made widely, knowing the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all those who heard it were marveled at all these things which were told to them by the shepherd. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherd returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, and it was told them. And after the eight day, when the eight days were completed, the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of a purification according to law of Moses were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. That is, as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or, a, or young, two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simon, and this man was just and devout, waiting for the con of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And when it was revealed to him that then by to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he saw the Lord's Christ, so he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in Christ Jesus, and when they brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said. Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people. I like to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at these things, which spoken of him. Then Simon blessed him, blessed him and said to Mary, Sorry about that. Says Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rising of many, many blessed, and for the sign which will be spoken against. Yes, a sword will pierce you, his own, your own soul also, that the thought of many hearts may be revealed. Now there is one, Anna the prophetess, a daughter of Bethano, of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age and had lived on a, a lived with her husband even years from uh, seven years from her virginity. And the man was a widow of about eighty four years, who did not depart from the temple but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And coming in that instance, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all the people who looked for redemption in Jerusalem. So then when they had performed other things according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, 
he owned city Nazareth, and the quite and the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. His parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover, and when he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. When they had finished the days as they returned, the boy Jesus remained in Jerusalem, and Joseph, his mother, did not know about it, but so they, supposing him to be in the company, they went on a day's journey and sought him among their relatives and acquaintances. So when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, seeking him. Now so it was that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have spoke, have sought you anxiously. And he said, Why did you seek me? Did you not know did you not know that I must be about my father's business? But they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. But his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. That's it for today. Sorry it was so long. God bless you. Chapter 3 and 4 tomorrow. Have a great day.